fight enough of that. What a lovely idea this is, isn't it? It's a snake in a basket, and baskets is the subject of this little film. This one is they've got a very clever acoustic switch because in the presence of sound, boo, he drives up. In the absence of sound, he drives back down again. So when you start playing this, it comes up and dances for you. What a lovely idea that is, isn't it? A more realistic one. Turn you off here, we don't want to interrupt the rest of the thing. This is a very, very realistic proper basket made of, made of the, the real material, but inside is, do I dare open it? Oh, a snake. That is beautifully done, isn't it? That's a king cobra, probably made in India. It's got the body of the, and the little grass inside as well. And there's a heavy counterweight here and a little hinge, and it flips up and down. So when the lid is on, you can't see there's anything inside, but up it comes when you lift up the lid. Very, very nicely depicted, and very realistic snake too. That's nice. Here's a bizarre basket thing I picked up about 30 years ago. I can't make this one out because I can't think who gave it to me and what the purpose is and what it's supposed to be. It's a little stocking head, funny little sort of purse lips and things, and what this body's doing with it, white and blue stripes, I can't think. And why it was produced? Was it depicting a football fan or what was it? I don't know. No idea. It's a mystery, so I've got to keep that in my collection. <laughs> Probably the most enjoyable of my basket novelties is this one here which is still being made because it's such a clever idea. A good craftsman, a man or woman who knows how to make things with wood, would get a slab of wood, cut spiral groove around it with a fret saw and then it acts like a spring, it acts as a sort of spring effect. But the clever bit is that they actually angle the fret saw at a very slight angle to make it taper. So each of the pieces moves but only so far and then they jam, a bit like a telescope. So the effect is you open it up like this from flat you lock it with the, with the handle, and there you've got a perfect fruit basket for it to put some fruit in it. And this would adorn any table and just look thoroughly tasteful and elegant on the table. A fruit basket. And when you finish the fruit, it just falls flat again. That's such a convenient thing to do. In my early days of collecting, I came across a few toys which were little automatons, but was a basket in which they sat in. And these were three examples, two battery operated, and one which is wind up. Very cute these, 30 years old but still working. Here's a very shy dog. The puppy really can. Oh, he's seen you. He closes his eyes again. He puts his hand over his eyes just like a small child would. Isn't that cute? And he's so shy. Poor little thing. This one here is a puppy waiting to be fed. It's distressed, crying for food. Well, there's the feed bottle, so a small child would enjoy feeding the puppy. Put the bottle in and, oh, the squeaking stops and it's closed its eyes and is happily feeding. Take it out too soon and the poor thing is going to go make distress calls who wants more food. That's a very nice realistic toy. And the third one is just a simple little wind-up, again in a basket, two little puppies wind it up and they go back and forward, squeaking away and following a little bee in the air with their heads watching the bee. Isn't that cute? <laughs> the last basket is very sophisticated. It's an office toy, really. This piece here you buy, you put it on a simple wastepaper basket and on a desk nearby, you put it on the floor and when you try and get it in the basket, nothing happens, but if you get it in there, it cheers. Because there's a battery inside, there's a little tremble switch which detects the slightest bit of movement, and when it is a go, it makes a lovely sound. I'm thinking possibly you can come up with an idea in which you have one which, when you miss, would jeer and catcall and whistle at you, sort of, you know, but that's still to come, I think. But this one is a very nice idea. So, baskets, well done the designers. That's a good one.